My hair is so dirty, guys. Whatever. <laughs> We're just gonna have to do it. Oh, oh, the amount of dry shampoo isn't even saving me right now. Hey, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if I'm talking a little bit low. Um, Tyler's actually taking a nap, so I don't want to scream because he's literally right there in the living room. But I'm back with another video, and with today's video, I am doing a video that I get requested to do all the time and it's so hard for me to film them because I don't change these products very often because so many people ask me to do an updated skincare routine I was like you know what even if products are repetitive I'm just gonna do it so that people really do see that I use the same products over and over and over and over again I say this all the time and it's something that I will continue to live by if something works for me, I find no need to change it. And that goes all across the board. It doesn't matter if it's a product, it doesn't matter if it's a clothing item, it does not matter what it is. If something works for me, I find no need to change it and I will buy the same product over and over and over and over and over again. And I think you guys know that about me by now, but of course there's always new people coming onto different like channels and stuff. And um, I have, I think, like, since quarantine started, I've gained, like, 5,000 subscribers, which is freaking crazy. Like, it's probably because I've been uploading so freaking much. So hi to all of the new guys that are here. Um, and thank you guys so much for subscribing. Before I get started, I'm just going to mention what I'm wearing. I try to make sure that I do that in every single video because if not throughout the video, I'll get a whole bunch of comments asking. So the nail polish that I am wearing is from a... Uh, gel polish kit that I bought on Amazon. I'll leave it linked down below. Earrings are Brendalyn and Cora, but they are sold out. My denim jacket is also Brendalyn and Cora. We do still have this, so I'll leave it linked down below. And I'm just wearing a white essential cami down on the bottom of it. On my lips, I'm wearing my Dame Boss collab, the whole white set. So um, I don't know if it's available, but I'll leave it down below. Pretty much everything that I have on. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start in the order of pretty much how I would, of how I would use these products. First thing I'm going to talk about, you guys are probably already like, okay, we already know. Like, you guys already know. And it is the Youth to the People Kale and Green Tea Spinach Vitamin Superfood Cleanser. This is my favorite cleanser, hands down. Hands down. I find no need to use another cleanser. I love the way this cleanser makes my skin feel. I have dry skin if you are new here and don't know. My skin is very dry, so I have to use products that do not strip my skin. I need lots of hydration, like a ton of hydration, or I will get very dry around my mouth. And it'll almost look like I have chalk all around my mouth because that's how dry I get and also on my forehead. So this cleanser does a great job of taking off all of my makeup. It is a very thick formula which is something that I love because you don't need a lot of this. This is probably my 15th bottle of this cleanser. Once I tried it I never found the need to go back. I love it so much. I use different cleansers every now and again if I get something in like let's say a BoxyCharm or when I was working for Sephora and in my gratis if they gave me cleansers I would use them but nothing ever spoke to me the way this cleanser does. Um, this is a brand new bottle which is why it still has this top on it. It actually comes with a pump which I love and it's a glass jar which I also love and Youth to the People is super clean. They're vegan. They're, a cl they're clean at Sephora and Youth to the People is just a great brand. It's such a great brand and I have actually another product from them to mention because I love their brand. I love everything that they stand for and this cleanser is just my life. It's anti-aging. It has super clean ingredients. Takes off all my makeup. Doesn't make me feel stripped. A little bit goes a long way. You do not need to like pump and pump to get cleanser out of this. It is so good. I love it and I will make sure to leave it linked down below because so many of you guys have already purchased this because of me. A lot of you guys have messaged me on Instagram. Um, so many people on my Instagram have purchased this because of me. So this is just my favorite. I love it and I have no reason to ever switch. For the next product I use, this is also another one that you guys are going to be like, yeah, yeah, we know. And it is the Ula Henriksen Transforming Walnut Scrub. And this has walnut powder and ginseng extract. So what this is, is a exfoliating scrub. And I know a lot of people do not like exfoliating scrubs because they can tend to scratch the surface of your skin. I have no issues with this whatsoever because this actually uses, the sun is like moving, so now it looks really like yellow in here, whatever. This uses walnuts to exfoliate your face, so it's not little beads or like little pieces of sand. It's actual like chunks of the nut, and I love it. I love the way that it, oh, it was in my, sh I actually used it today, so it's like, it's like dripping water. It smells, it smells so good. It smells so, so, so good. I don't use this often. I use this 
one to two times a week two times at most because you don't want to over exfoliate your skin again because i am dry i get skin buildup like dry skin buildup especially around my nose that's like the main area that i like to use it so i'll literally take a little bit in my fingers after i cleanse my skin and i just focus it in the areas that i know i get dead skin and it's mainly around my nose in between my eyebrows never really on my cheeks i'm not very dry here it's more so in the center of my face that i am very very dry so i use this all the time this this is probably like my sixth or seventh bottle of this. I've been using this for years, ever since I started working at Sephora like four years ago, and I could not recommend it enough. This is another product that so many of you guys have went out and purchased, and you write me and you're like, oh my god, my skin feels so smooth. This will literally, if you notice that your makeup gets really patchy, if you notice that you just have a lot of dry, dead skin, it, it's because you need to exfoliate. You need to get that first layer of skin off because it's ready to shed so i could not recommend this enough i do use chemical exfoliators as well but never in a routine i'll just use it to use it and this is like actually in my routine next i will talk about my daytime like moisturizer and eye cream so in the daytime i have been using the ceo uh, from sunday riley this is a vitamin c rich hydration cream and it's funny because i've had this for a long time and Moisturizers is something that I'm not very picky with when it comes to uh, using. As long as it's thick and hydrating, I don't care. I don't really react to a lot of products. Every once in a while, there will be something that like really irritates my skin and I get a lot of little white bumps all over my face. But moisturizers, I'm always really open to trying. And again, I used to work at Sephora, so the amount of skincare that I still have because I worked at Sephora for four years, I have enough skincare to probably last me maybe two, maybe even more than two years, like three years without repurchasing anything. And moisturizer is one of those things because we have to, we get the moisturizers or different products to try out so that whenever anybody comes in asking like, hey, what's a good moisturizer, you can recommend it based on what you've tried. So this one had been sitting in my stash for a while and I ran out of my last moisturizer and I don't even remember what it was. I don't even remember what it was, um, but I ended up just grabbing this one because it was in my skincare drawer and I was like, all right, let's try it out. And I love it so you can see i don't know if you're able to see there's like a nice like dip in it i use this every single day it is incredibly hydrating like it leaves your skin so dewy so dewy so fresh so plump looking and hydrated and vitamin c is really good for brightening um if you have dark spots if your skin is just like dull vitamin c is amazing and i would highly recommend this I don't use like really any Sunday Riley products. I actually think this is the only Sunday Riley product I have and I love this moisturizer. It's so good. It smells like tangerines. It's just, it's a really, really nice moisturizer and I've been using it now for I'd say like a month and a half, two months. Now for my eye cream. Eye cream is another product that I just feel like I don't think about as long as it hydrates my under eyes. I don't care what brand it's from. I don't care if it's Belief. I don't care if it's Fresh. I don't care if it's Tarte. I don't care if it's Alginus. Like this one, I don't care if it's used to the people. It doesn't matter to me. I just always use an eye cream. I have, again, dry skin and I am 30. So I need to constantly make sure that my under eyes are hydrated because dry skin is what gives you wrinkles. So right now I am using this Alginus Complete Eye Renewal Balm. This is what the cream looks like. And there's a pretty good dip in this as well. I've been using this now for probably like three months. And I like it. Again, I don't think that eye cream is one of those products that's like, oh, this is my favorite. If it hydrates my under eyes, I use it. I don't, I don't really, I'm not really like a big fuss with stuff like that. I'm not very picky when it comes to eye creams. Alginus, they use an algae complex in all of their products. Just some knowledge that I can throw out there. It is very, very pricey. Would I pick this up again? Probably not. Just because, again, eye cream is not something that I make a big fuss over. I like, I love the Kiehl uh, Avocado Eye Cream. That's one of my favorite ones. That's one that I would repurchase. But because I had this in my skincare drawer, I just figured I might as well use it. Now I have to mention a lip balm that I have been using. And this is from the brand Sweet Chef. I don't even remember where I got this from. I think I got this like sent to me from someone. It's from the brand Sh Sweet Chef and it's a sugar cane and vitamin E lip sleeping mask. So this is what it looks like here. This is what the product looks like. You can see there's a nice chunk missing and i've been using this now probably for about a month i love it it's nice and hydrating normally i will use this the laneige sleeping mask this is like everybody's favorite lip balm and i actually just repurchased one for the sephora sale but i figured i'm already using this so once i run out through this and go through another one that i have that's from so from fresh this is the sugar coconut hydrating lip balm these are amazing then i'll go into my um laneige one but for the one that i'm actually using right now amazing on the lips it's nice and thick i like a thick lip balm like i need it 
thick. I lay it on thick. And I use this, I don't even just use this to sleep. I use it whenever I feel like I need something on my lips. I just put some of this on. It actually came with a little spatula that I don't even know where it is. But um, yeah, don't know where this is from. Apparently it's from the brand Sweet Chef. So if I can find it, I'll leave a link down below for you guys. Now for nighttime things. And for the nighttime, I don't make a big fuss in my products. I'm very simple when it comes to my nighttime routine um, because I work a lot. So when it's time for me to take off my makeup and go to sleep, I just want to take off my makeup and go to sleep. I don't want to sit there and do a full on routine unless it's like a pamper day. If it's like a Sunday or a Saturday after I finish cleaning all day, then I want to go in and like really put good stuff on my skin. So for my everyday nighttime moisturizer, I've been using the Milk Vegan Milk Moisturizer. This is what it looks like. It's a white cream. You can see it's like halfway through. This is thick, like thick, 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 thick and hydrating. If you are oily, you will not like this. This you feel on your skin. It feels, I don't want to say it feels greasy because that sound bad, sounds bad, but it is hydrating and I love that. It's so good. Does it have a smell? No, it has no smell. But yeah, Milk is another great brand, vegan products great ingredient. I've just been using this. Would I repurchase it? Like I said, for moisturizers, probably not because I have so many, but it is very nice and so, so hydrating. So if you were in the market for one and you don't already have any moisturizer, I would recommend this one. If I don't use that and I want to use something different for my nighttime like moisturizer, I use the Youth of the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. This has, I don't even know how to pronounce this, Mak Maki or Makwi? Vitamin C squalane and hyaluronic acid. So this is the other product that I use from Youth to the People. Again, a brand that I love. This is like a thick, pasty moisturizer and oh, it feels so good. It technically is a mask, but I just sleep in it. I don't wash it off. It's an overnight mask. So you just put it on your face like moisturizer and you leave it on. This feels so good. I love it. My friend Alexa that I used to work with at Sephora, she introduced me to it. And now she works for Youth of the People, which is so freaking awesome. So I'm so glad she put me onto this. I love this. Like if you want a thick lather of like hydration on your face for a mask. Now for my last product I have. I know I don't have many products because I'm not the type that uses 5 million thousand products because that's just not realistic. This is the only uh, like other mask that I have. I have this mask and then I also have the Drunk Elephant hydration mask and I don't ha I can't read what the front says because I got this in my gratis so it says re resale not allowed or something like that cannot resale but this is a hydrating mask so I use this last week I used it on a Saturday and I just love the way my skin felt loved it so freaking much it literally feels like a moisturizer but it's very very hydrating and it says this cooling quenching overnight mask plumps and restores with an electrolyte cocktail while strengthening the skin's acid mantle with a blend of barrier replenishing ingredients including niacinamide, sodium PCA, plant squalane, five forms of ceramides, omega fatty acids, and powerful anti- I'm not going to go on and on, but I like lay this on real thick too. It's really, really nice. Would I repurchase it? Like I keep saying, probably not because I have a lot of masks that are like this, but I do really like Drunk Elephant's products. Like, really, really like them. So if you're in the mood to splurge for some skincare, this is really, really nice. All right, guys, so that is basically everything for all the products that I use on my face. Two of the products remain very consistent and I do not change them, which is my uh, cleanser and my exfoliator. However, all these other products kind of interchange themselves when I finish them. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this because so many people are constantly asking for a skincare routine. So thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.